Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Uh, this is your boy, Terrence Gandhi, the good advice giver. It is 5 10 2020, 7 11 p.m. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And like Tupac said, I just want you to know you are appreciated. Lady, don't you know the love is sweet, lady? Like, I mean, that is probably one of the best songs I can think of to show the appreciation to all the mothers, along with probably the soulful song, uh, um, and I had it in my head before I started doing it, and now it's gone. The song where they're like, um, the, the, I think it's Boys to Men. Ah, but anyway, it, it might come to me in a minute. I have no clue. It, you know, doing podcasts and stuff. Uh, you just never know if you're going to remember something or not. Yeah, and in most cases, you, uh, you know, you just don't know. A song for mama, you know what I'm saying? I can't think of the lyrics, but you know the melody, so just... But anyway, you, you, you get the point. Um, yeah, I mean, so far, so good. Good weather, good food. Uh, good times nothing like being around family the ones that are still here and thinking about the ones that have gone so you know whatever it is whatever you gotta do whatever it takes just let me know we can go from there and make it happen we can always make something happen Um, just remember the teachings that your mother or grandmother or guardian or whoever brought you up remember what they would say and mama you know I love you so you was like who from the start you know love you was like who from the start yes it is yes it is okay well you get the point like I say and nothing makes you feel better than some good food. Like uh, the Soul Food movie. Big Mama uh, died and they got back together at some point, even after the family had all its trials and tribulations. And my favorite scene of the whole movie is, is two. And they're both sex scenes, of course, right? When Liam was a uh, fucking bird in the bathroom uh, somewhere at the beginning, and she, had, uh, you know, he had to, she had to put the put the panties in his mouth to, uh, to make him stop uh, moaning. I was like, oh yes. And then when Faith fucked uh, Terry in the studio, you know, this is not Miles. Miles in the studio. Terry says, right, you, you get the picture, and that was probably one of the. Whew. But I want to say that I, I'm not gonna lie. I watched that scene over and over again, and it was just like, oh my gosh, you know. And just think about the strength of the family coming back together and getting certain things out of the way. I like for, um, Boondocks and how they did their rendition of it, and. I think it was the Itis episode. 
and like uh, he was like they didn't learn anything they didn't learn anything about uh uh, not supposed to eat that stuff or you know, going on a diet or healthy eating or nothing like that. They just went back and ate the same food that killed grandma. <laughs> you know? The same food. And I don't, they don't call it soul food for nothing. Because I'm convinced, I'm 100% sure that it's definitely going to send you to your resting place. Soul. Your soul will leave you and the itis will kick in and you'll be halfway dead. You'll be in a comatose state, which is great. It's some of the best sleep you could ever get at um, a family cookout or after a funeral or um, just whenever soul food is involved, whenever some of that good cooking is involved, that yeah, you, yeah. So, then mix it with some liquor, some alcohol, some beer, or whatever you might drink. Yeah. <laughs> You go, your worries are gone at that point in time. You're not thinking about nothing. You might be crying from your loss. You might be grieving, but at the end of the day, you just, that food can take over. It's going to take over. I promise you, you know. Uh, I believe in pre your grieving. You know what I'm saying? Mourn now. Start thinking about what if you were to lose your loved ones now. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever skate a day without thinking that everything's all fine and dandy because anything can happen when you leave the house. Uh, you could be jogging and two uh, guys come up and shoot you for no reason. You know? That's just the world we're living in right now. Um, like, some of y'all have never experienced um, profiling. Um, but uh, you know how lucky and fortunate, and some hopefully some of y'all never will. It's like the worst thing. But for all my brothers out there that know and sisters that know what it's like to uh, get that DWB driving while black, then it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling to uh, to get out, get, get have to get outside of the car for any time, any reason. I don't, you know, there's no purpose in that. There's no point in that on a routine stop. Either you're going to give me, if you, if I have no warrants, you run my license and everything, and you say that you got me for whatever specific reason, then you should be focused on that. There should nothing else be, you know, I don't smoke, um, but for those who do, and they want to be like, oh, it's probable cause, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I mean, hey. I just, I personally, I wear my seatbelt, you know, um, mainly because I feel like it's there to protect me, you know. Uh, I I know there's situations where people be like, oh, if they would have been wearing their seatbelt, and I know some situations where like, yeah, if they, if they weren't wearing that seatbelt, they would have made it, you know. So, to each its own, I personally drive a certain way to where I'm not going to hit anybody. So, I'm afraid of other people because I don't want them to hit me. You know, I'm not going to be at fault. I'm not finna. I'm not finna hit nobody. I can't afford to. You know, like that's a major setback. So when driving out there, um, be careful. Always be careful. Like you should never really be in a rush. And time, even though time's like relative. You, you know, like getting, get, if you're ready, you want to get somewhere on time or early, you should have left in a time frame that would have allowed that. So, I don't understand why people are always in such a rush, or, you know, you created that. You created that rush, you know, you created that, that, oh man, here it is, the last minute, let me try to get this done. Rather than, um, taking all precautions that you need to take so that that won't be the case that won't happen just saying now please feel free to contact me and let me know what you ate this uh, good old Sunday this Mother's Day and let me know I personally ate chicken fried steak mashed potatoes 
okra, uh, a garden salad, and uh, some cake I haven't really ate. But either way, all of this, uh, except for the cake, it was homemade cake, uh, I got from Longhorn Steakhouse here in Texarkana. So, you know, shout out to Longhorn Steakhouse. It was, uh, it was pretty good, pretty good meal. Uh, I like chicken fried steak, so yeah. Places like that and Grandy's and wherever else you could, uh, because I haven't had everybody's chicken fried steak. Uh, Catfish King, I know they had, uh, used to, I don't know, I haven't been there in a while, but they used to have a pretty decent chicken fried steak. Um, when I worked there, I used to make it myself, so I know. Well, what else? I'm always into mac and cheese, so that, that would uh, put the, that makes me want to go and uh, get some mac and cheese from somewhere. I, um, I usually go to this churches over here on Texas Boulevard and get the uh, mac and cheese there if they have it because a lot of times I've been there and they're like oh we're out of mac and cheese or we don't the whatever is not working and we're out of mac and cheese not a good sign if um, you know you're trying to do business and trying to make something happen now I said I was going to make this short, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get ready to wrap this up. Thank you to all the mothers, the grandmothers, the great-grandmothers, the mother, 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 mothers out there. You know, if you have a lot of kids or if you got one kid, you know, if you got the whole Brady Bunch at your house, let me know. Um, if you're raising somebody else's kids, you know, get at me, let me know. Um if you uh, just whatever it is that you want to talk about, let me know. And like I say, I'm trying to do this thing at least uh, at least once a day, twice a day, three times a day if I can, you know. Because uh, between this, it, it's very fun to do. I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to y'all, talk to all my listeners out there. And like I say, for every podcast that I do, Every recording that I make, I have a goal of a million strong, and I feel like if I can get a million listeners, then just imagine, that's almost like feeling like um, that's more powerful than an actual radio station. Like, some radio stations don't have a million people tuning in to them, you know what I mean? I, that would be, like, amazing if I were to have that kind of audience uh, between my podcast and my YouTube. And I just, that's what I want. I want a, a large audience. When I can, you know, I know with YouTube, you get to the point where you got like 100,000 subscribers and they send you like a plaque, you know? I want that plaque. That plaque is a very, it's, a, it, it's like an achievement, you know what I'm saying? It's like saying that because of all this hard work, all these videos I've posted, and on and on and so forth, that, yeah, hard work. Now, I'd like to direct your attention to the description down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever the case is, and check out what we got going on. Um, merchandise coming soon. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Why well, you definitely want to get to the point where you start checking out some of the stuff that I got going on because my channel is about advertising, pretty much about making money online. <coughs> so if that's your thing, check it out. See what we have to offer. See how. We can help you and, you know, see if you can get, see if you can get informed today 
about what we got going on coming up. Uh, thank you. Happy Mother's Day. And see y'all tomorrow. Peace.